Hey, Frankie, what you reading, man? Ancient Greek mythology. You finally got me to read the Bible, and now you're reading mythology? I thought we were seeking truth together. We are, my dude. But Greek mythology isn't true. Doug, not only is Greek mythology true, it's hidden throughout your Bible. What? Yeah, it's brief, but true. In Genesis, the word Elohim is actually plural for gods. Dude, that is deep. How come I've never heard this before? Dougie, there is many things you haven't heard of before. That's, that's why I got you reading the Bible. So, what truth are you seeking in the Greek mythology? I'm studying philosophy right now. I'm going to prove how Socrates was either an earlier incarnation of Christ or at least influenced by Christ himself. Oh, what? Dude, good luck with that. Yeah, I know. I'm not sure people are gonna like what you say about that. Listen, these truths have to be said. People need to know. Well, yeah. Our entire society is built upon lies. But when you start to piece everything together, you can be free. Like I am. I love you, man. Keep reading that Bible. It's good for you. It's good for your soul. It's good for your spirit. It's good for your conscience. Remember, all of this truth keeps us united in Christ consciousness. I love you, man. On that same night, I will pass through Egypt and strike down every firstborn of both people and animals, and I will bring judgment on all the gods of Egypt? Gods? I am the Lord. The blood will be a sign for you on the houses where you are, and when I see the blood, I will pass over you. No destructive plague will touch you when I strike Egypt. What kind of a god does that?